My name is Kevin Poon. My main focus is uh, obviously Claude being number one of them, uh, the brand, the retail juice, and distribution company District, as well as uh, digital marketing agency Social Capital. I think growing up is a fun and also a difficult process. There's a lot of uncertainty growing up. And when in the environment that I was in, there was a lot of people that were very well off and wealthy. That kind of opened my eyes to hustle, the hustle, and to work hard to, to get what you want, you know. I've always had a love for fashion, uh, especially you know when we were used when we were kids, we would play a lot of basketball and we would, you know, watch obviously a lot of basketball and all the Basketball sneakers were very interesting, like the Jordans, the Pennies, or whoever that we had, and then it was the Dunks, and then it was the, you know. While I was doing an internship in LA, I was like buying and selling sneakers for a lot of people that were in the office because I had access to it coming from Hong Kong. And then afterwards, it kind of, you know, morphed into something more serious where we had an idea uh, to open a store. So me and Edison, which is my business partner, took a trip to Japan to take up some meetings and we found an opportunity to open a store that you know sold the stuff that we kind of like and that's the first store called Juice and that's kind of how everything really all started. I think the reason why I wanted to do something for myself was because we didn't want to report to anybody. It was kind of like we didn't want to work for the man so in order to avoid that uh, we thought of things that we could be our own bosses and kind of, you know, put together you know, what we love to do into a job. And this has probably always been kind of the, the, the inner motivating force for us to start a, a company and do the things that we do. How you first get started is always the hardest, I would say, because you have limited resources, you have limited networks, and no track record, right? So to really, you know, first get started you just have to have the passion and the drive for it even if you fail at least you can take a learning lesson out of your failure and say okay what did I do wrong here and how do I make it better so in that case I think everyone learns by mistakes so you just have to really get the good things out of it I would say the best companies come from a need within to do something like oh they're I wanted this t-shirt but no one's making it so I'm gonna make it or you know I like this shoe but no one's used this application so I'm gonna make it like that. Obviously the people that work with me or the people that I get in contact with as I'm getting older I definitely want to pass the knowledge of what I've done when I was in my 20s onto the youth you know. You know it's not really so much being a boss more than being a leader and a inspiration to the team, you know, and to motivate them and not to boss them around like, oh, you do this or you do that. It's more like, how do we get the team involved and how do we excite the team to think on the same page and to, you know, move ahead with the objectives. It's more important that I'm the boss. This is what it is. It's, it's you know, that's, I feel like that's just like more like rap videos. A lot of it's about visualization. Like, None of this, everything that you see here just came from an idea, like a seed. So you just have to water that seed and plant that seed and really believe in this seed that you have.